Okay, so we are going to do number two and three from worksheet seven two for you. And the first one says, which of the following differential equations, dy over dx equals e to the y plus x power, with the initial condition that y of zero equals ne negative natural log of four. So we want one of these five equations here has to give me the derivative that they gave me up there. And by the way, a differential equation is just another way to say derivative. Um, except the differences in differential equations, a lot of times like this one, you got X and Y both in the problem instead of just X. And so what I would do is I'm gonna take this Y of zero equals negative natural log of four and see if that gets rid of any of these pro problems, A through C. So if I stick zero in for this A, I get zero minus natural log of four, which it says what Y is supposed to be, so A, it could be A. If I stick it in B, I get also negative natural log of four. So it could be that one. If I stick it in C, let's see, I get uh, E to the zero is one. So that's negative one plus five, which is also negative natural log of four. So C still works. And if I stick it into D, that's E to the zero, which is one and one and three gives me four, so it works. But if I stick it in E and I get natural log of four, there's not a negative in front. So that eliminates E. So I only got rid of one from the point. So now what I got to do is find uh, which one of these four left over give me this derivative up there. And I actually did this for another student yesterday. So I'm going to go straight to C because I know it's the answer and it's, it takes a while to do this. So. I'm going to do the derivative of this one. So I'm going to get dy dx is going to equal, and I get a negative because that's a negative one coefficient in front of natural log. And when you do the derivative of natural log, you stick whatever's after the natural log in the bottom. And then you have to do the derivative of that thing in the top. So the derivative of negative e to the uh, x power is negative e to the x power. So that's the answer right there. Now, before I keep going, I'm going to put a plus sign here and here and change those to pluses because two negatives make a positive. So I'm left with this deal right here. Now, what I need to do now is I've got to change some of this around. So like if I have the fraction two fifths, I could rewrite that as one fifth times two, because I could take two over one and move it to the right and split them up. And the reason I'm doing this is I've already got, I know up here I've got to have e to the y plus x power. And just like the old days, oh my. All right, I just, my screen just went huge on me, so hold on here. Okay, my screen went huge and I don't know why I hit something accidentally. There, I got it back, okay. So anyway, down here with this thing, I am going to split this up and then I forgot what I was doing, so I'll show you here in a minute. So I'm gonna rewrite this as one over negative e to the x plus five. I'm gonna take that e to the x and move it over here to the side. I'm gonna to try to explain to you why now. Back in the good old days, you know, if you have x squared times x to the third, that we can rewrite that as x to the two plus three power. That is our old rule for powers when you're adding like, uh, when you're multiplying bases, you add like terms. And the reason I'm showing that is, this means this right here is equal to e to the y times e to the x. If I split that up kind of like this part right here. 
And that way, if I add like bases, then I get the e to the y plus x. So the reason I split this thing up below is this is already what I need. What I have to show is that this thing right here is what y equals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to this, this part right here, the C part. And I am going to uh, make that look like E to the Y because I'm missing E to the Y. So what I need to do is I need to take both sides to the, uh, raise both sides by putting E at the bottom of them. And again, my whole goal is I wanna show that this e to the y right here uh, is going to equal this part on the right. And when I so simplify that part on the right, I need it to look like that. So I can stick e to the y in for that. And so this is pretty hard. So what you need to know is some rules for natural logs. And since there's a, whenever there's a number in front of a natural log, like we got this negative sign, I can move that negative one up to the power and that gets rid of that gets rid of the number in front makes it a one so something we're supposed to know about e and natural log is they are inverse operations so these two things cancel each other out so i get e to the y is equal to and since that's a negative one exponent i can move that down to the bottom and make it to the first power which means i don't need parentheses anymore and I get that right there. Well, if you look at that and you look at what I have circled over here on the right, they're exactly the same. So that means over here, I can stick e to the y in for that. And I still have that times e to the x, which ends up equaling e to the y plus x because of all the exponent rules we talked about. So c is the answer. So that is a really, really tough problem. Do you guys have any questions on any of that right there? No, I don't. Okay. So that is that is really hard. Uh, then I'm going to erase what I've written and I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, number three. So I got to move this down some. So give me a sec. So this one is going to be kind of similar to that. Uh, I'm wanting to... Again, if this says if I plug in zero, I'm supposed to get five. So I'm going to plug in zero for all the X's and see which Y's give me five out. And then I'll have to do the derivative of those until I find the one that works. And again, because of this video, I'm, I'm going to do the one that I know the answer is because I did this yesterday too, but I didn't film it. So if I take zero right here and I stick it into tangent, x for x and get tangent zero, that's zero. So e to the zero is one and one plus four is five. So a gives me the right answer. Part b gives me six because e to the zero plus five is six. So this one can't work. e to the zero again is one and I get five out for c. Uh, for d, tangent of zero is zero and zero plus five is five. And then for e, uh, tangent of zero is zero and e to the zero is one, so that gives me out five. So again, plugging in the numbers only eliminated b. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the derivative of this thing, and I'm going to do c because I'm pretty sure if I remember right, that's what we got yesterday. So if you look right here, it says y equals all these. So this this means that y equals five e to the tangent of x power. So I'm going to do dy dx, and I'm hoping that I'm gonna get y secant squared x out of this over there to the left. So coefficient five stays the same. When you do a derivative of e to the tangent x, it's e to the tangent x, and then it's times this, the derivative of the tangent x, which is secant squared x. Okay, so I got that look right there. Well, if you look up here at the top, we had y equals this right here, didn't we? 
And isn't it y that I need to get in front of the secant squared? So because y equals that, and that's the same as this thing right here, that means I can plug in y for that. And that is what derivative I am looking for. So that's why C is the correct answer. Now, any of these other ones I would have done the derivative for, I would not have gotten that, that answer. Um, I think I'll do one to show you that it won't work. So I'm gonna do this one right here that Y equals tangent X plus five. So when I do the derivative of this, at dy dx and derivative of tangent is secant squared x and the derivative of five is zero so i'm done right there there there's no way to get a y to plug in with that to get this answer up here for the derivative so that tells me that it can't be that one and a and e would not would would be similar in the way they work they would not i would not be able to get this look right here, that is what I need for this derivative. Oh, crud. 